Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you the working of this TL494 based uh, pin control module. And uh, we have also a powerful totem pole driver for driving the high power MOSFET and uh, RGBT gates. So, after this, here I have a voltage and uh, current control potentiometers of 10 kilo ohm each. And uh, the pins are here like uh, with, uh, voltage feedback current and the PWM output pins and also have a VCC input up to 30 volt support because using of uh, LM7812 12 volt regulator IC so here after this I have a 200 kilo ohm potentiometer for the controlling and adjusting of the frequency of this module which can be adjusted from 30 Hz to 110 kilohertz and uh, also we have a uh, header pin for the activation of this uh, current sensing or uh, not so after this I have to see in the circuit diagram that I made uh, in the EGD of software and uh, after this the first part of this and the main component is the optocoupler which is used for the voltage feedback and uh, this is the 10 kilo ohm potentiometer for adjusting the output voltage and uh, here I have a non inverting pin of this uh, IC which is connected through the one k resistor and uh, voltage divider network of 10 kilo ohm which is connected at a uh, voltage reference of 5 volt and uh, ground and uh, after this here uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected at uh, pin number 3 and 2 which decide the output uh, duty cycle as comparison of this uh, potentiometer voltage and uh, the second op amp is used for the current sensing which is done through this uh, 0.15 uh, ohm percent resistor and uh, this is feedback uh, to the pin number 16 which is non emitting pin of the second operation amplifier and uh, here the totem pole driver using uh, BD139 and uh, BD140 transistors and uh, here we are driving two switches like uh, IR jet 4 n and uh, in the next video I'm gonna show you this uh, buck and boost converter using uh, this controller and uh, we have uh, multiple capacitors at the output so the feedback line will goes to the voltage feedback pin and uh, then the optocoupler and uh, this will goes to the inverting pin and the main component here we have a 12 volt supply to this uh, module which is done through the LM7812 voltage regulator IC and make sure we have uh, selected the right pin of this uh, BD139 and BD140 transistors so after this here I am testing the module with uh, my power supply which have a voltage of around 15.9 uh, uh, volts or 16 volts so here uh, it's a 15.9 volt now I am powering the module with uh, 16 volt and uh, this is the ground pin and uh, this is the ground and the red one is the positive pin so here we can see the red LED on the module is indicating the power supply and uh, after this I am gonna test this uh, module with my oscilloscope this is made using a Raspberry Pi and uh, here I am uh, connecting the ground and the PWM out pins to this and uh, after this here you can see on the screen the frequency adjustment can be done up to 90 kilohertz or above and the minimum frequency which can uh, hear almost 30 hertz and uh, this can be used for both uh, low frequency inverters and also the high frequency inverters like uh, 150 kilohertz or uh, 35 kilohertz inverters and here I have selector uh, the high frequency mode in which we can uh, make uh, high frequency and uh, this can be used for uh, generating the 50 hertz signal or 60 hertz for the low frequency inverters using uh, iron core uh, transformers and uh, you can see the frequency adjustment is uh, very used successfully and uh, you can see the waveform also is very smooth and uh, here I have connected the voltage feedback input wire to the 12 volt power supply so that we can uh, 
check the duty cycle comparison so here i have uh, connecting the 12 volt supply into the voltage feedback pin and you can see i am adjusting the duty cycle which can be from uh, 5 or 10 percent to 50 percent maximum so this is also very good uh, sign of working of this module and uh, also we have to sort the license header pins so that we can uh, deactivate the uh, current sensing of this IC if we remove the header pin then the current sense input pin be uh, need to be connected uh, through the center register so this is the uh, working of this uh, module which is uh, very uh, useful for the inverters and DC DC converters so this is the first part of this video and uh, in the next upcoming video I will make the buck and boost converter using this uh, TL494 based module so the circuit diagram and uh, PCB files are given in the description so till then please like and share and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks for watching in the next video